hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing to my returning subscribers thank you so much for the constant support i really really appreciate it my new subscribers guys you're welcome to the family stick around and you're going you're going to have fun you will definitely have fun today is facebook friday we're talking about something that is trending on facebook and guys there is this particular post that is going around the hearts of man is bigot. The heart of man is desperately wicked. You want to know what I mean? Stick around. Stick around. Let me read something for you. Okay? So guys, here it is. Hmm. Mommy, my husband has killed me. In my 10 years of marriage, I have never checked my husband's phone so that peace can reign. Mm -hmm. I'm a banker, but I stopped working to make my home work because my husband always complained of me not being at home to take care of him and the kids. By that time, I had two kids. I stopped working five years after we got married and started my own business. He would not come home, but if asked, he would give me funny answers, but I let it slide. Until I decided, let me check his phone to know what's going on. Hmm. Only to see that my husband already has two kids with a family friend of ours who lived close to us before. And my darling husband has HIV, which he's taking drugs and same with the other woman. See this one. Mommy, I collapsed and was rushed to the hospital because the shock was too much. Yeah. I got struck and nearly died. In fact, I died and rose again. I have a good business and I always dress nice for my husband just to make him feel better and keep my home. And you would never believe my husband would do such a thing. He is so quiet and even an elder in church. Hmm. My life is finished. What I, what I don't know would have killed me. What if I didn't check his phone? That is how I would have died with HIV and left my kids behind. Yeah. Men are wicked, mommy. I'm still recovering from the sickness, but I will never forgive him. He is begging. He is begging me. But my pain is that we both labored, thinking it's only for the children, not knowing he has another family outside. Yeah. Imagine. Why? That is the only question I have. Why would you do something like this to somebody that you make vows with? Somebody's child. How would you feel if somebody ah oh God? How would you how would you feel if somebody did that to your own child? Hmm? Hmm. I have no idea what which group this thing was posted. It's been copied and it's pasted everywhere and oh, I am this thing is it's not really shocking me but it's hurting me because I, I mean you just can't do something like that to someone's child how ha ah. anyway guys that is it for now I hope you've learned something from this and I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.